as it's mentioned in the book, the capitalist mode of production when it comes to agriculture is really just based on kind of a, you know, it's a growth model. It's like, how can we maximize um, uh, agricultural production? How can we push that as far as possible? And it doesn't take into account the health of the soil. If the soil is depleted of nutrients, then they're just going to dump a bunch of chemical fertilizers or, you know, pesticides and herbicides on this land. Of course, that has detrimental impacts to the people that that work those fields that live on that land. Um, and of course, it, it has long term implications for the soil itself and the health of the, the soil. Um, and then you take also the fact that massive regions have been deforested in order to make room for these monoculture uh, projects. So I can imagine that the work is that you're doing and well, not just you, obviously, but you and everyone that is there, um, that that is, you know, what what I find so, I guess, in international in its scope, what I see is that so many parts of the planet are experiencing things similar to what the people in this region in Rojava have experienced. Um, you know, I could say that where I live, I live in a part of the United States that's very agricultural and almost all of it is monoculture. And when I think about when the capitalist system stops functioning <laughs> and how are people going to know how to grow food, you know, people aren't going to know because we've relied so thoroughly on monoculture um, agricultural methods um, that we won't know what to do in the face of something like that. Um, so I think the value yes, of, that's right. yeah, and I see, I see the value of what, uh, not not only of what you're doing just ecologically, but how those decisions are made, right? This is a collective decision making process. This is this is something that I I'm deeply inspired by. So I want to ask, you know, when decisions like this are need to be made, right? How are we going to use the soil? How are we going to um, reforest? How are we going to bring about bio excuse me biological diversity in the region? Um, you know, how are those decisions made? How is the ecological dimension of this revolution? Um, presented within the context of of uh, a kind of an egalitarian social model. Does that make sense? Like how how do how are collective decisions yes, made? Totally, yes, yes. Yeah, how are collective decisions made in regards to this? Well, uh, first of all, we we have to say like the 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 principle of this the three principles of this revolution and then like to build an ecological society, uh, like the pillar of women's revolution, like the women's revolution, their women's liberation, and uh, radical democracy. So already in the pillars, uh, like this aspect of ecology um, to overcome uh, the annihilation of the human being of the nature is already implemented. But of course, like we have to see how it is in practice and, and daily life. And of course, uh, it's, a, it's a difficult process it's an it's a it's a revolution so that means like to change also the mentality of the people so to to change the way people are thinking to uh, how they address nature and so on and one of the big uh, when like when we see the impact of uh, all this policy i just mentioned uh, is kind of like that uh, the society this got disconnected from the land. So also you mentioned the knowledge about um, like it, it deserve uh, like an like the desertification of uh, agriculture, uh, the knowledge about um, like producing their own food and stuff like this. It is uh, over the years with this policy of the centralized nation state, it got lost in society. So also this is something we have to uh, claim back. We have to recover again here, like uh, what were traditional ways of production um, of like agriculture production here in this region, what kind of like traditional um, crops were growing here, uh, trees were growing here, all the things that has to be recovered new. Um, but of course, like the knowledge is still in the society that uh, we have to just uh, like dig it out again um, to the question of the like really like the principle um, of the radical democratic way of making decisions uh, like the, the smallest entity is the commune like it can be like a one one street uh, in, a, in a city it's kind of like one street and the village is kind of like one neighborhood stuff like this so uh, really on the bottom uh, on the society people are discussing the problems uh, they are facing in daily life uh, and trying to find solutions for this and if uh, they cannot reach solutions because also maybe the problems or the questions are related to the bigger frame for example to the city to the municipality to maybe even the whole canton uh, like the 
this, uh, questions and uh, this discussions are passed on to like the next level where not only like one street or one neighborhood is sitting together but maybe like representatives like people from the whole neighborhood or from the whole city so this is kind of like the way how decisions are made here in the context of um, of the ecological works we have to say that um, and many points like uh, we are facing the problem of the awareness of the people and also uh, the like the economical aspect and that like uh, now to de diversify the agriculture also means like uh, to find new uh, like with with uh, with um, the traditional like not the traditional like the, how the agriculture system works right now like with the, the there is a need for crop there's a need for wheat in the region so it is like also something really easily for farmers to produce um so they it's also a more risk more risk for them to change uh, the system right now if they just see their personal interests and their personal situation so it is also to like to change the awareness of the people like here uh, you mentioned already this revolution is fascinating because uh, this is really something um, fundamental not to implement laws and uh, by force like mm, uh, changing the way of production changing this the structure of society but more uh, with law long-term discussions so in some villages you have to discuss for years uh, to implement a new way of like a more ecological and cooperative way of uh, production but it works like we can see uh, many examples where after this long uh, process now there are cooperatives like uh, for the f for um, working on the land but also for for example uh, like um, domestication of animals and stuff like this so um, this is kind of like the way uh, the system here uh, like is functioning but it takes a long time and it needs a um, lot of patience uh, uh, for, all, for all of us <clears throat> like who are working living here um, but like this is kind of like the the general understanding of um, not only in the, in the in the context of the ec ecological um, aspects, but for example, in, in in the in the sense in the case of uh, water, now like uh, the committee that is responsible for this area, um, is uh, like for two years ago counted all the real wells that are existing to get an overview, and uh, sometimes like implementing watches to see how much water is actually used, uh, to get an idea what is like what is the need and what is um, like to the uh, how can we reduce uh, the use of water in the sense uh, now you are not allowed to open new wells without getting uh, like an uh, registered in it so that uh, there's actually an overview about it um, in some areas also in the canton of Giza there like is an implementation of like natural reserves and sometimes of course there are conflicts like um, from one day to another day um, like farmers uh, cannot use their tradition like their monocultural uh, way of production in this areas uh, like anymore because it's forbidden to use kind of fertilizer to it's forbidden to use um, pesticides so like now then we have to find solutions like how can like an, a more ecological way of production look like but um, like in, in, in most of the cases, like or in all the cases, actually try to do this process together with the society on the bottom, like on the really the people who are uh, first affected um, by the questions and um, actually to uh, like the need also for them to find new ways and solutions for the problem.